had love with Pat's two cents. Here, piggybacking on 2 Peter chapter 3, just dealing with certain verses followed by Pat's two cents. Because I want to explain something here. Something that a lot of times we miss. Okay. Listen to this. Knowing this first, verse 3, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lusts and saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. For this, they willingly are ignorant. Let me repeat that. For this, they willingly are ignorant. That by the word of God, the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. That's verse 6, 4, 5, and 6. Now listen. One of the strategies of interference, of distraction, of, of planting seeds of doubt is to make one question the word. It's the first trick of the devil in the book of Genesis. God didn't really say that, that thou shalt surely die. How did he? See, it's when he brings you a question, he makes you doubt. And what happens is your mind starts racing and he starts filling in the blanks. That's right. Look at all this time. All this time. All these prophecies. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Ain't nothing happened. What makes you think something's going to happen? Look at all these years. What's happened? Nothing. Are you sitting up there worried about the second coming? Hey, that's a distraction, you guys. That's seeds of, plant, of doubt being planted in your mind. And what that does, it takes you off your focus and it gets you on to other things that don't really matter because you figure, oh, I got plenty of time, ain't nothing happening. Well, that's what happened when they talked about the water. The world then was being overflowed with water, perished. The world perished. Because all those years, all those decades, 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 here you got what's-his-face building the ark by God's instructions. And everybody's like, boy, you done lost your mind. I don't know what your trip is. What are you talking about? We don't even have a word for rain. What rain? We don't have rain. Yeah, when the rains came, the ark was already shut supernaturally by God. And the people who were where they were supposed to be, just like on that handball court, were saved. They won the game. Everybody else, psych, they lost in a very big way. How do you want your the end of your story to be told? 